Hey everybody, uh, today's going to be a bit of a different video because I'm probably going to private this one later, but I just want you guys to uh, hear it from me. Also, I want to talk about this in full context, this entire, I did not have the screenshots for the whole conversation, but evidence on the contrary. I'm just going to flat out say that this is pretty much the worst I have ever had to deal with someone just being completely explosive and childish. And to be honest, yes, my own words might have been minuscule and basically because of the way she was acting, that, that is partially the reason why I used them. Because I did not cuss at her or say anything out of the ordinary. It was more just, you know, the same thing I've always learned is that, you know, if someone's acting com a complete fool and they're just making other people miserable, well then, you know, call that out. Um... In full context, there is parts of this conversation that I do not have screenshots for, but in full context, nobody is perfect, but this was just completely the epiphany of toxic and rude behavior and childish behavior. I want anyone who wants to make her own comment or community post, you know, getting mad at somebody, then also she acknowledges that and one of the responses to me that anytime someone makes a response, she just has to respond. Which is, I guess, okay, first of all. But second of all, it only just proves one thing. Because one thing is this is was made to spite me. And... Honestly, not once did I cuss or get truly mad, and I just let her explode. I just literally did not care. Because it is nothing that I have not heard before. It is basically, it was rude, toxic, spiteful behavior. And the thing is, what her very first comment to me was basically about uh, the show, because uh, this only proves my point about this black or white toxic rhetoric in fandoms, and even with people that are older, still having this childish, explosive behavior, and also the way her responses were, as you will see throughout the video for what little screenshots I were able to take, I'm just going to flat out say it that I may have not have said really much of anything truly bad, and I'm not going to sit there and say I said anything that's perfect, but it was a, it was very minuscule compared to her responses that were very just like these, and also to add to that. Honestly, I really did not care for anything she had to say because it wasn't anything I haven't heard before. Insulting my intelligence, basically um, calling me a freak, all that jazz. For one, that just proves my point about her being a part of the toxic part of this fandom because people that acted the way she did people that explode the way she did onto people and cannot take when somebody responds the way they do this is the internet first of all i did not go off on her or say anything truly you know i literally she deleted the, the both community posts so you cannot go find it but as you will see throughout the video um pretty much and also, in full context, please do not go harass this uh, person, and also, do not, um, 
you know, be rude or anything. No one is perfect. People are human. People make mistakes. Hopefully she learns from them. You know, I try to be the best person I can be. I'm not perfect. I'm no saint. And I never claim to be. But to be honest, I'm a lot more respectful in my own way. Now, she could take something I said as an insult, but really, her own actions really were the reason why I said some things. And none of them were really truly mean-spirited. It's just pretty much simply that. So, yeah. Just wanted to address that, and, uh, sorry for this video, and I'll probably be doing, uh, some walkthroughs later, but I just wanted to address how toxic people can be, and very childish and explosive. You know, to be honest, this is why I don't deal with phantoms. And she might be older than me, but she really did not act very mature for her age then, for having this type of reaction. No one her age, apparently, would have this type of reaction. It was just, well, you guys can decide. Also, hopefully this person does get their anger under check. Because, to be honest, having that type of reaction is just, honestly makes yourself look more bad than anything else. Yes, my responses are not perfect, but the difference is I'm not going to sit there and make myself out to be a fool. Because the full context is the way your reactions were, were just very explosive and very... If you cannot handle anything, then you should not be on the internet. It's that simple. And if this video pisses you off, it'll only be proving my point right. The full context is really your response to me in the first place was very condescending and rude from the get-go. And also, in full context, your reactions to a lot of things were that way. And I'm going to be completely addressing you, not my fans now, if you do see this. Next time, if there is a next time, I'm going to be completely honest, maybe tone yourself down a bit. This is the internet. People do have their own thoughts and they're entitled to their opinions. There is no the right opinion. That black and white toxic rhetoric is part of the reason why fandoms look bad half the time. And people acting like you act makes it worse. Especially on Twitter and other places. And thank God I don't have Twitter. So, to be honest, I'm going to be completely bluntly honest. <sighs> my actions or my responses were not perfect, but none of them were truly ever completely mean-spirited or, or completely rude. Yes, they're easy to be misconstrued to your narrative of, oh, he's being a prick, he's being this. But really, from my end, they weren't. Now, if you look at these screenshots I've seen, look at your responses, and look at mine. There is a very clear difference. So, keep that in mind. But, I think I'm going to end the video here. I just wanted to address that, and I also wanted to talk to my own friend, uh, uh, fans. Sorry for this video and all that. It's just... Nowadays, I wanted to give a full context because I don't want to destroy this person's reputation, but I also don't want them to not know that their actions do have consequences. Their words do have consequences. Now, I know that I really didn't 
make myself look any better. And I could sit there and if I could, I would find screenshots of my responses. But due to privacy reasons, I don't want to go to the comments and um, pull up other people and them, you know, their stuff. So that would be pretty childish of me. I wanted to keep this twofold between this person and me and leave other people out of it because that is wrong, first of all. And second of all, to be honest, I'm just going to be completely logical about this. If there, she does respond nasty and does uh, make a response video and basically, oh, this, that, and the other, I'm just going to be ignoring it if it's nasty. Now, if it's actually the way mine is and basically very monotoned and calm and like, okay, let's address each point that he makes, then I might respond or I might check it out. But, yeah. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed, so, or, or if you didn't, that's perfectly okay. I don't blame you. Um, sorry about the video, but this one kind of needs to be said because people have to learn from it and that there are consequences to their words and actions. I've had to learn that with mine. So, yeah. I might be privating this video later, um, but... To be honest, it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah.